Naughty Crew Reviews, and today we are unboxing Spice Breeze. Um, if you have seen my other unboxings, you know that this is a monthly spice subscription. Um, if you have not, this is a culinary adventure in a package. Um, basically, Spice Breeze um, uh, curates different spice kits, um, which include a recipe and all the spices necessary to complete that dish. You'll have to add the ingredients and whatnot, but that's what a spice kit is. Um, there's two different subscriptions, subscription options. There's the Duo, which is $5.90, and you get two spice kits. Um, those are pre-selected, um, and they usually feature a different country or a different spice or something like that. And then there's the Quad, which is four spice kits, and that's $11.85 monthly. That's what we get. Now, if you um, want, you can go on and, like, if you have the Quad, the other two... Um, ones that aren't selected for you, you could select yourself. So you get like an email every month and you could select from like a list of uh, different, you know, a menu basically, essentially. And then you get, you know, this, the spice kit you want. Um, I know that was like the most long winded, weird thing I've ever done. Yay. Um, so anyway, <laughs> I never do that. I like the surprise. Um, I like to open these up and be completely unknowing just like you got, you know, I want to experience it with you guys. So that's what we're going to do right now. I love these. I always recreate one of the recipes in my blog. I will link to that below. I'll also link to Spice Breeze. I'm trying to talk slower so you can check them out. All right, let's get in here. All right, so it always comes in this little booklet, uh, Spice Breeze Culinary Spice Box. And it always, look at this, so pretty. Look at it, it's so beautiful. <laughs> All right. So it's, this is their April package. All right, so I see paella, kasheri. That has three, that's crazy. And then we have goreng and gulai. So let's look at our recipes. All right, Dolly Theater Museum in Spain, April 2019. So that's the picture here. Um, the world's largest surreal object was created by Salvador Dali. Um, exists in his hometown of Figueres in Catalonia, Spain. Um, and then the featured spice this month is saffron. So we actually do have some saffron, which is awesome. Cause saffron is like the most expensive spice that exists. All right, so first we have paella valenciana. This is a Spanish culinary spice kit. Um, for this kit, we have, I think, two packets. So you have number two is definitely saffron. You can see that there. Um, so first, in the first packet though, it's a mixture of paprika, rosemary, onions, turmeric, roasted chili, smoked paprika, bay leaves. And then the second is just Spanish saffron. Our next recipe, so you all, I you know, paella is like a rice dish. They use something called bomba rice. Um, I actually have some, so I may make this, I don't know. <laughs> all right, next we have gulai, which is an Indonesian culinary spice kit. And in our packet for this one, um, we have lemongrass, galangal, turmeric, mint, makrut lime, chili, coriander, star anise, lemon crystal, and lime peel. This is, um, you use a protein, you simmer in a rich coconut sauce with a note of lemongrass. I love lemongrass, so, and galangal and makrut lime. This is gulai, an Indonesian favorite. It's simple to prepare and ready in no time. Try to use up some leftover eggs. Gulai makes hard boiled eggs appear in a new light. So there is that. That sounds really good. I might try that. You don't need a whole lot. Chicken breast, tomato puree, coconut milk, an English cucumber, um, sliced bro broccoli or bok choy, steamed shallots, finely chopped garlic, most of which I have. So that's cool. All right, next we have koshari, which is an Egyptian culinary spice kit. I probably said that wrong because, you know. All right, koshari was originally a meal to use up leftovers. I love those kinds of meals. Those are my favorite. Today, it's popular as street food and in dedicated koshari restaurants. Um, to assemble this Egyptian national dish, first pile up your plate in layers of rice, noodles, and lentils, then sprinkle onions and garbanzo beans on top and finish with red and white sauce to taste. Finally, mix all together and dig in. So in our koshari pack, we have three different packs for this one. One, two, three. In this, we have cumin, nutmeg, black pepper, coriander, cloves, cinnamon, cardamom, paprika, and chili. The second packet has black pepper and cumin, and then the third has cayenne. Usually these little packets, they'll say like hot, use only to taste. Um, those are your, your hot, your, obviously your spicy hot stuff. 
<laughs> All right, finally, we have another Indonesian culinary spice pack. This is mi goreng. Um, this is, we got one packet for this. This is, mi goreng is a common dish in Indonesia, Malaysia, and Singapore. The stir fried noodles resemble chicken chow mein and might have their roots in Chinese cooking. The ingredient list offers a great variety with different selections of vegetables and optional meat or shrimp. The spice blend with earthy galangal accounts for an exceptional flavor. So in this packet, we have galangal, turmeric, black pepper, nutmeg, chili, amchur, and tamarind. So that sounds really good. Um, and for this one, you'll need two to three cups of a vegetable mix, like carrots, leeks, savoy, cabbage, and thin, thinly sliced cabbage. Noodles, you can use ramen or chukasoba, which is the chewy noodles. Um, and you have an onion, two cloves of garlic, um, soy sauce or sugar, and so agave syrup or sugar. And then there's a whole list, so that's all you really need. But then there's a whole list of optionals. Anchovy paste, shrimp, green onions, peanuts, lemon, fried eggs, fried tempeh. Uh, fried onions or and shrimp crackers. So that sounds really good. I don't know which one I'm gonna make. What do you guys think? Anyway, I'm gonna link down below to my full review. I will also link to Spice Breeze. Can you... Shake it off so you can check them out. As always, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.